Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into a brand new Caldera Intel series video. In this series, I break down every major POI on the brand new Caldera map for Warzone Pacific. And today, we are going to be talking about ruins. This sort of amorphous, slow, but also hot drop sometimes. Look, I'll tell you everything there is to know about it. Where to drop, where not to drop, and the best rotation through that POI. As a reminder, we just walked through Peak, which is right over here. Go check out that one. That... <laughs> <laughs> it might be the new superstore. That place is hot as long as you can actually make it there. Now, let's jump straight into the video and talk about ruins. All right, so when dropping into ruins, there's a couple things to know. Number one, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, and more often than not, it is cold. I drop in every location over around 15 times running solo quads, sometimes queuing up with teammates and things like that. But even in quads, I hardly ever saw a team drop ruins. Now, there was one time I'll show you in a minute where it was really hot. But when it's cold like this, you have the entirety of ruins to loot and it doesn't really matter your pathways. There's loot spread out all over this POI kind of in small doses. There's no major uh, hyper centered loot spot on ruins. It's very spread out boxes here boxes there in the tents here in the tents there so when it's cold like this you can just roam like crazy all over this area so the buildings that i'm showing you right now or rather the ruins that i'm showing you right now hence why it's named ruins it, this is sort of the most congested area of loot uh, this is near the front side of ruins now what i would suggest if you have all of ruins to yourself i would land at the back and work your way forward because again all major pois besides a couple are on the outside of the map so if you land in the back and move your way forward you'll get pretty much all of the loot especially if there's no one there the issue becomes if you land all the way in the back you're gonna have to fight through teams who can theoretically hold you which is why we talked about in the airfield vid video that you want to land near the northern side of airfield so that you can hold teams rotating in especially if airfield is not inside the circle same thing for ruins especially because the loot is so spread out you can't land in the very back of ruins and expect to come out with over ten thousand dollars plus everybody having a pretty solid gun i mean i found a few decent weapons but even still, it ruins is a bit of a rough place to, to go for high kill games or a ton of loot and buy UAVs, etc. Right? If you're trying to play a slower pace game, this could be the drop for you. Now, even on our cold drop, there were a couple teams that landed nearby that were trying to play aggressive and they picked up bounties and then came over to ruins to fight us. But otherwise, there was no one nearby. So we saw them a little bit. I'm going to show this in comparison with a hot drop just so you can see the kind of differences in the way I loot. Okay, so for the hot drop here, I decided to land at the back. Again, I tried to explore the entirety of ruins, and I just told you, don't do this. Don't land at the back of ruins because there's not that much loot, especially when it's a hotter drop. So I'm going to show you why this didn't end up working out too well. Now, I do pick up a few kills here because I'm okay at the game, but otherwise, it would have been a much better strategy to kind of land in the mix, pick up a couple kills, or land even nearby in village if it seemed like ruins was going to be the hottest drop. But as you can see, I literally land at the very back of ruins. Now, I want to pause the video right here, okay? Because because if you look at the actual designation of ruins on the overarching map that Call of Duty has put out with all the yellow lines and everything, it shows ruins to be a much larger area than what I would call ruins. Hey, really quick, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, it would be super helpful for me. I love making these videos, but it's a ton of work behind the scenes, but I can't wait for the future. So any support, even just subscribing, means the world. All right, let's jump right back into it. So I found actually a couple boxes in these back tents, and again, it's not a bad idea to land back here. This could be a decent play if you get lucky with loot, but that's the thing. Do we want to rely on luck, especially in a game like Caldera, a map like Caldera, where all the ground loot is pretty much terrible besides a few guns? You need the best possible chance to get a lot of good guns. And I actually found a pretty decent bar. The ground loot bar, if you hit your shots, kind of hits. I dropped two or three here, um, put them on skates a little bit, hide around corners. If you play your angles correctly and hold them on sight lines, you can win just about any fight with a bar. This gun's terrible. So I ended up just finishing up these kills. And now we have this kind of uphill battle of continuing pushing into ruins. My shots have given away position. We some The rest of the people that landed in ruins know we're back here. I think this team was a full team of four, and I've killed three out of four of them. So we know there's one more, one more like bush each hiding out somewhere or maybe getting into the mix with the other team that dropped on the north side of ruins. And we have to fight our way out of ruins, which is why I don't suggest landing in the back, although we got fairly lucky. As someone coming in already from the gulag and being bought back in or winning the gulag, I'm not sure. I take a few body shots but now here's our issue right i have the high ground with the bar which is great but now i'm low on ammo i have three bullets to my name i'm taking pot shots i'm getting hits but there's a full team of four holding us from the way we need to go so the smart play here 
run away. It, it, this is going to be a really difficult fight for me to address. But of course, I decided to throw a smoke and push this instead because, hey, I was feeling a little cocky. So the enemies push up. I ended up getting, I think, a knock here in a moment. But I do end up going down in this fight. And this just really was showcasing what happens when it's a hotter drop. You want to land at the top, loot up at the front, and then you can work your way back if you want to clear some of these teams. Or you can just hold and wait on them because you're going to have the advantage. Uh, they can't really go anywhere else besides trying to run away or getting around you. All right, so I'm back in ruins, and I want to show you my favorite drop and then my favorite rotation through ruins. Like I said, I prefer the front of ruins or what I would call the closest to center of the map. And I, I, I said earlier in an airfield video that I think was a mistake that uh, I said the most northern spot on every major POI is the best. What I meant by that was the most northern spot on airfield, which is closest to center. So if you ever hear me say closest to center, I'm talking about center of the map or peak. So the closest to center buildings in ruins are these two small tent structures up at the front and honestly i've always found two or three boxes here and right around this area this is a great spot to drop as a duo maybe even a trio if you have a full team of four you can probably get away with dropping the three buildings or the three structures that are shown on the mini map that are right here in front of me now there's loot all over this area you could drop four on the structure of the three structures and then expand out from there as long as you're holding each other's sight lines it's not too difficult to fight together if you expand out a little bit as a full team of four but one of the other major things about ruins that i really like about it is there's actually these interesting little cut throughs through the mountainside we all know clambering over mountains sucks absolute you know what so instead if you just jump over the ruins here you can actually go through these tunnels and rotate over towards village or actually even out closer to center as you can see there's a couple different pathways and there's actually some loot in here as well i actually really like this rotation especially if there's ruins is not very active maybe you kill the one other squad that was with you you loot up that front side then you push straight through the mountain and move on to your next location the first one will take you out to closer to center kind of uh west side of the mountain you can also wrap around this area on the outside and you'll see the entrance for the other one which will take you through to the water towards village so looking at the mini map here i'm just going to show you what i was talking about earlier about the river that kind of cuts through right you can see the waterways on the mini map and this is actually how i kind of delineate between ruins and village i i, I think of village which we'll talk about in the next video inside of that waterway i was outlining whereas ruins kind of goes all the way up and kind of gets encompassed by this roadway that goes in front of it so you can see the roadway which takes you up to this small little buy station that's kind of by itself i really love that poi i'll talk about that in a second it's not even really a poi that you can then follow the roadway and end up in mine so my favorite rotation on this map is what i'm about to show you now you loot up the front side if you need to address the village side you can but i like pushing straight up the roadway to that phosphate mining group sign that you'll see in a little bit so obviously you don't have to follow the road directly and this is a fairly open rotation once you get to these rock structures on your right you can kind of hug that rock so you don't get sniped up from above a little bit you can utilize the tree to your advantage but this is a pretty open area and that's one of the reasons i'm not a huge fan of ruins your rotations out of ruins unless you carve up the top side of the map depending on the circle and go through something like arsenal will cause you to get caught out in the open just like i did right here so yeah this phosphate mining group area is a small like almost separate poi in and of itself it's not that big but it always has a good bit of boxes around it this is actually a great spot to regain because it oftentimes i would probably say 80 to 90 percent of the times i dropped onto the map uh, this was a, a place that i could go that always had that buy station so look overall ruins not my favorite drop but not a bad location to start off a game especially if you're trying to play a little bit slower it trust me it is not the slowest drop on the map and sometimes especially with the right plane like we showed earlier it can get pretty hot and pretty spicy earlier my favorite rotation rotating out of ruins going towards center of map which is kind of always my bread and butter play to go for higher kill games go to the phosphate mining group area buy up maybe buy your second loadout get your first loadout to drop in that in that area rather than all the way over by ruins and bada bing bada boom you're good to go i would not recommend dropping in the very back of ruins unless you're deciding to make a southern rotation through village then it makes a lot of sense if you're gonna drop in the back maybe not address some of the fights at the top side of ruins or closer to center of map rotate through village through those waterways and you're gonna be great and i'm gonna talk about village soon but hey overall 
not a bad spot at all and, and look I, I one thing i will say about ruins is that there's actually some pretty cool outplay opportunities with a lot of cover in the area it, it gets really open when you push the center of map but ruins itself has a ton of cover so if you're good on the sticks or on the mouse and keyboard with your movement this could be a place where you could put on a show and <laughs> and break some ankles now anyways hey i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one